Blossoms, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. I don't know if you can tell, but it took me 50 times to say that phrase. Um, I'm trying to come up with like something that's more like personalized to me. I love that everybody says like, hey, welcome to my channel or welcome back or whatever, you know, but I kind of want to say like something more, like be able to tell you about the garden. I, I want to say like, hey guys, welcome back to my channel or no. Sorry, not that. <laughs> I want to say, hey guys, I don't know. Uh, maybe I, I think I want to say like, hey Blossoms, welcome back to the garden. My name is Lauren, if you are new here. And today's video is going to be a vlog. See, like something, something like that, like did it give or like it didn't give, I don't know. Anyways, hey Blossom Babes, today's video is going to be a weekend vlog, weekend, I don't know when this vlog will end. Sometimes like I say that and then it'll be like a one day vlog, so who knows, but right now today is Friday, October, it's Friday, October, I don't know, it's Friday, October 28th, I want to be right so bad, but I think it's not that, 28th. I know that Monday is the third. I don't really know. I'm not gonna lie. It's Friday, Friday, getting it on Friday. But yes, it's Friday, nonetheless, regardless of the date. Um, today I'm inside, like I'm just chilling at home. I have this pot. This <laughs> looks crazy. And I'm gonna paint it. Um, I have a basil leaf outside that I'll show you guys eventually. Um, she's getting too big for her thing. So I'm gonna paint this pot and then eventually I have this. Hopefully at some point in this vlog too, I repot her into this bigger pot. Um, but yeah, I got my wine. Hold on. I have my wine. I'm just ready to chillax. I have my, I was gonna call these painters. Um, my brushes and I hope they have some paint. Okay, and I have some paint. So yeah, I'm, I was looking for like what I wanted to paint and I was just like, nah, this isn't working. I'm just gonna have to freestyle that hoe. So yeah, but I'm happy you guys are here with me today. I'm repping Dark Boys, period. Um, I don't know, my man brought me this shirt. He said somebody in the gym was giving him away because he has a Dark Boys label. And my man said I had to wear it because he's a dark boy and I gotta support him. And if you know, you know, okay? My man is very chocolate. And I'm his biggest fan, like I said in my last video, and I'm sticking beside it. So, you see it. Anyhow, um, as I'm sitting down here with y'all, I'm having like a very full circle moment because I believe that the first time I ever actually sat down and recorded, I was on the ground in front of my mom's like window seal, like the window was behind me and I'm recording this way type thing. Um, yeah, it's very full circle for me because it took me a long time to get on YouTube, man. Like my friends who know, they can really tell you like, I was recording videos probably like a good two, three years before I actually posted. I think I finally posted in 2019 I was easily recording since 2017, for sure. Um, and yeah, I think that one thing at the time that kept me from like recording, sip, cheers, and I love you. Mm. Anyways, I remember at the time being so afraid to start my channel because I never wanted anybody to think I was looking for anything from it like i come on here and i make content for just whatever i like to do i like making content i like being in front of the camera you know and at the time um a lot of my a lot of the lessons i was learning were related to grief um and gratitude and depression and it had a lot to do with the death of my boyfriend at the time and i was so scared of getting on youtube and everybody thinking like oh, she's just trying to capitalize off of that death or anything like that. Because the love I have for Gabe, who was my boyfriend, is very genuine. And I I just never wanted his family to like look at me any type of way because I was posting content about my grieving process or anything. So a lot of the videos from back then, I definitely kept to myself. And I was looking at them weeks ago 
and I feel like it might be finally time for me to put those out because I have released that attachment to like what people think about me and that is a whole nother topic hold on let me get my painting situated okay so I'm getting my paints situated on this little plate and I was like I was thinking I was gonna do like one base color and then let it dry like blow dry it I don't know I, I don't know what I was thinking I, I'm not an artist but like blow dry it and go over it with my design but I'm like who's doing that so I was thinking instead, I could just make this like a little stripe steel. Maybe if I get real freaky with it, I could do diagonal lines. You, you feel me? Probably not though, because you see the little ridges, like I might as well just keep it simple, keep it cute. And this is dirty. I don't know if I should waste this off first. I probably should, I'm not going to though. Anyhow, um, I think I was talking about how I now don't feel any attachment to people's opinion on me or the content that I post. And I think that's very, very, very important for any content creator, influencer in this generation, for sure. Well, of course this generation, because I feel like our generation is the first of, like they're the pioneers for um, content creating. But as just an individual, I think it's important to just release that need to satisfy other people and their wants because at the end of the day, that's always gonna lead to un dissatisfaction, right? So for me, um, it's always been like, I know what the type of content that I wanna post, but how will that resonate with people? And I really had to start deciding like, it doesn't matter. I feel like my prayers have always been with my content, honestly. I pray that this reaches the ears that will be receptive to it, okay? and so. I only want people or blossoms a part of the garden that resonate with what I'm talking about and the content that I put out and match my vibe. And I feel like that's every content creator. You want a fan base per se or supporters that are similar to you, you know? And so that's kind of what I came to realize with content. And I won't lie, like for a long time, not knowing how people would receive my content kept me from posting a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. And I, it, it, I had to just realize like, I'm doing this for myself, like genuinely, everything that comes out of Trinity's Garden, whether it's my Instagram, whether it's book club, whether it's the blog, I used to have a website. Some of you guys might know I used to have a website where I would post blogs every few weeks, just about a bunch of stuff. So that all came from like, genuine parts of me and so i never i hated when i used to always be like oh i'm not gonna post this like nobody's gonna resonate with it you know so like i have a lot of videos like that there's a one there's this one video i really want to sit down and actually film um about grief and gratitude like i mentioned and how my journey from grief turned to gratefulness um and how i learned to be mindful and just trust and life and love um there's a lot of things that i'm genuinely interested in like the environment climate change veganism alkaline diets like yoga and even like my my yoga on the beach where i did my spoken um or my poem that was very hard for me to post because i didn't under i didn't know how it would be received so hold on it's that time again I think that a lot of people, um, a lot of people are afraid to be their authentic selves because of how it will be, how it will be perceived, which is why we see so many of like the same thing, like the same aesthetic, the same vibes, um, same content, you know, and that's fine. A lot of people who produce that content, that's genuinely them, right? But a lot of people, some people it's not. And I think that they don't think that they can flourish in their own niche. And so they go to the niche that is most popular. And I won't say that that has never been me, right? Like certain things, like I know story times are very popular on YouTube and I have some good stories, okay? Like I really do and I'm saying all this and I'm still gonna post my story time. So don't think that that means I'm not going to, but I will say that it doesn't, 
at naturally like align with what I want to use YouTube for, you know, as a platform to talk about mental health, to talk about the things that I've learned, you know, and that's just like a support system and an empowerment motive, you know, like an empowerment move, not motive. Um, but shoot, y'all gotta know about this because baby, I was, t I was thinking about how I really want to tell y'all about the time I woke up to my phone being smacked in my face. Like, I, I can't talk about it right now because I'm I've been drinking this wine actually for like an hour and it's not good. It's not a smart <laughs> it's not a smart move for me to talk about that right now, realistically. But it's a crazy story. Like, and I'm not gonna keep that from y'all. You feel me? I'm not keeping that from y'all. I'm definitely not keeping I gotta record a story time this weekend. I'm not gonna lie. Cause I just have to, but coming again in a full circle i think that we all can find a lot of peace in being ourselves like for real like i love seeing the black anime fans like flourish now that we're all older because I, I i think they used to get bullied like i really my friends talk about that and i'm like dang I, I never i was never allowed to watch like cartoons and stuff right like spongebob that's a very hidden fact i don't tell people this but i was never allowed to watch such spongebob ever so like when y'all be having the inside jokes about SpongeBob, I really just be nodding my head like, oh, okay. I don't know what you're talking about, I'm sorry. But I never knew about anime for real. And so now, y'all. Y'all, it was just a small bug on here. It was a very small bug. And I'm not like, I don't, I'm not gonna act like I'm like, oh my gosh, where is that from? Cause this was outside for like two weeks. So life goes on. Anyways, I just got put onto anime like two years ago and I'm rocking with it hard, like hard. Um, I've been watching One Piece with my boyfriend, like he's rewatching it, but of course I'm like watching it. Um, and that's my show, I'm not gonna lie. I was watching Code Geass. Code Geass was my shit, no cap. Um, and a few other shows. But anyways, at this point, I'm just talking to y'all, look, and when y'all see it, I know y'all see it's pink. If, if you know, you know, man. I can't get off it. I'm on pink really bad. Like, look around. I'm on pink real bad. By the way, I am drinking Oliver Winery. Winery? I just said wine. Did y'all hear that? Winery? Anyways, Oliver Winery Vineyards Cherry Moscato. And I got it because I've never seen no cherry Moscato before. Um, but it actually doesn't... It just tastes like regular Moscato. I feel like... Fruity taste in wine is always very subtle, um, unless it's like blueberry. I've had like a very distinct blueberry wine before. Um, yeah, but I think I think that's basically what I wanted to talk to y'all about. Like, it's how I wanna I wanna show up as myself unapologetically all the time, all the time. I've always been a very outspoken, um, extroverted person, and for a while I lost that. I really, really, really lost that. Like really bad. And I got this overwhelming, crippling um, anxiety, which is crazy, actually, because I never really knew. I, I, I had anxiety, I think, undiagnosed, but it got uh, so bad um, to the point where I became so, like, timid. And for a while, um, I was praying, like, Lord, help me find my voice. And I'm sure a lot of people didn't see that, honestly. But I know that that's how, how I was showing up was not like myself for a long time. Um, and that was hard for me because it was like I knew how I could be, but it was like a lot of stuff was going unsaid, for real. Um, Y'all, this not coming out. I don't wanna do. All right. So I feel like I should like let this dry right before I do another one. Oh, this doesn't look bad. I don't look bad on camera. Oh, I'm tweaking. I should go all the way up, right? <laughs> all right, y'all. Going over my second color. Uh, I don't know who told me to do the stripes. I, I, I don't. I don't know. But it's okay. 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 Not, not a lot right now. Not a lot. But skin there. Um, as I was going over my second color, though. I was thinking about um, 
it's very important to me, for well, it should be important to everyone, but to be very intentional about the things that you do, the company that you keep, you know? I feel like when I started being intentional about just the things that I wanted, I saw things come like to fruition, like, um, like crazy, like, I started working out, right? Um, and I kind of had lost, lost touch with exactly what I wanted in the gym because I didn't, you know, I wasn't being intentional about going to the gym or anything. And once I became intentional, it was like I started seeing my results because of the fact that I feel like once you're, once you're intentional, it's easy to get disciplined in every aspect of your life. So be intentional, like, and with the things that you want, like have intent, have good intent and sit on it, think on it, pray on it, meditate on it, whatever you need to do, you know? And that's how you're gonna get what you want. That's literally how, you, how you're gonna get what you want. Um, and in, I know I was just talking about this video, but it's just crazy because in my video when I was, um, when I was talking about, In my video, when I had did the um, the poetry video, thank you. Oh my goodness, I I had said this um, this affirmation that really always sits with me, and it's "I don't chase, I attract." What is for me simply finds me naturally. Um, I think that's very important. Like I think that y'all should really try sitting on that affirmation. I have seen I have seen a lot of good things come to me from reciting that to myself over and over, um, and I think I'm gonna do like a whole video on like things that I love right now. Like y'all know that trend, like on TikTok, like oh things I'm tired of or whatever, whatever. Like here's my life, you know, people be showing everything. Um, I really want to do that though. Like I want to tell y'all about the things that I love, like reading. Girl, I, your girl has been reading, like, um, I'm reading this book called Inner Engineering by Sadhguru. I don't want to, I want to, don't want to spoil that video because I am going to do a video on all the books that I've read this year. Um, I've also just finished my book club book, which the blossoms might come for me. The blossom book club girlies might come for me um, because they're, everybody's not finished right now. I feel like one other blossom is finished. Um, but yeah, that book. Us. If you're watching this video, that probably means that the book club, we have finished our book. And if you want to join, babe, it's no better time than the present, okay? It's no better time than the present. Um, I'm going to drop a Google Forms for recommendations. I'm definitely always looking for recommendations for books. Um, and then, of course, I would love to have y'all. Like, the book club is always open for anyone. Um, we meet every Sunday at 7. Just a little plug. And I'm going to sit here and paint this, y'all. And then I'm going to make my pizza. I will show y'all how, how I make my pizza. Um, because I am kind of making it from scratch. I'm not making the dough, but... Whatever, girl. If you want to make some dough, you go ahead and make that dough. And any freaking ways. I love y'all, man. If you have just watched this 15 minutes of rant, mm, big love. But no, I love y'all. And realistically, I'll probably make this pizza and see y'all tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to Pilates because Lori Harvey put me on and I've been going. Tomorrow's my third session. Y'all gonna see how much I'm sweating after that. But I love y'all. Hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the video. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, Blossoms. Rude. Um, I'm headed to Pilates. Excuse me if I'm short. I am running late as always. I always schedule these for like the 8.30 or the 9.30 class and I'm literally, literally I have not been on time like one single time. Last time they had already like started and that was like, I was so mad. I wasn't mad, but I just felt bad. So I'm trying to get there on time. So I gotta go. Love y'all. See you in a minute. Do you slide on all your nights like this? Do you try on all your nights like this? Put some spotlight on the sky. Yeah.
Y'all, I'm back in the car. Hold on, because I'm covering my mic. I am back in the car. My wig is slipping off. I'm, the wig is off, babe. The wig is off because y'all can't see it because I don't wiped off. I was drenched, like dripping on there. The place is called Trimble and babe, they will make you tremble. Like don't play with them. Don't play with them. They will make you tremble for sure. But great class, love the studio. Love the new studio because apparently the one I used to go to is like permanently closed. Um, but yeah, if you live in South Florida, they got them everywhere. Like go because babe, they be having me in it to win it. But I just learned today. So there's another black girl in there. Normally I go with a friend. The other two times I've went, I've been with a friend. Today I went by myself. There was another black girl in there and I talked to her. She, she was like, girl, you gotta come more often. Like she was saying she goes Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday. Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday, babe. Eh. It's $40 a class. What do you do for a living? Okay? But once I'm like that, I definitely will. But for right now, I'm going to stick to once every two weeks, once every week, eventually, hopefully. But y'all, get in Pilates, please. You will start seeing ab definition instantly. Um, and I swear if I went more, I probably would have a six pack. The thing is, um, it's, it's, a, it's more than just abs too, though. It's like a full body, thigh, arm workout. And you have to go to a studio with the boats. You'll know what I'm talking about. If you look on Google and it's just pictures of girls on yoga mats, no. You can do that on YouTube. You can do that at home. Go to a place with a boat machine that has the arm pulls, the leg pulls for abs, the um, the bungees. You'll know when, when you know, like, actually, as a matter of fact, I'll put a picture of what, like, the boat should look like. I don't really know what the name of it is. I call it a boat because I ride at my bucket. She be talking about straddle line too. I love the instructors. Like, I love Pilates. And I'm not gonna lie, if you're a white girl and you're watching this and you've done Pilates before, why you ain't tell the black girls that it was all inclusive and that we was going, we could do it and get right? We had to wait for Lori Harvey to tell us. We didn't know. I thought Pilates was not for me. Shit. And I'm in there. But anyways, y'all, I'm about to go home, shower, and go to the farmer's market. I'm super, super, super excited. My boyfriend's going to go with me. Um, yeah, so I will see y'all and once I shower and get changed. Hi, guys. It is several hours later, like 11 right now. I think the last time we talked was 9.30, so I guess only an hour or so later. But we're at the farmer's market. I have my bags from Whole Foods so I can get a lot of beans and I'm excited. It's a really nice day out, if you guys can't tell. This is the fit. Had to show off my Pilates body. You know. <laughs> but yes, I'm excited. I have my um, cameraman with me, so hopefully he can get some B-roll and cameos with me. <laughs> yeah, yo. Do you try on all your nights like this? Put some spotlight on the side And whatever comes, comes through clear All this jewelry ain't no use when this bit is done It's my favorite part, we see the lights they got so far It went too fast, we couldn't reach it with the I'm out of you. Sure. I don't know you. 
y'all probably like wait a minute this bitch done changed her hair and i did and i've been ghosting y'all all day on accident but i still been filming though i still been doing stuff and i've been filming but i haven't talked to y'all probably since i was at the um this is sun is too much right now I haven't talked to y'all since I was at the farmer's market, which was the time of my life. I love that farmer's market. Ooh, we I just watched somebody make a left and almost get hit, which is my warning sign to put my phone down. So I'll get back to y'all. Okay, y'all, so I made it to my destination. I'm currently at Panera. Um, I have to study or do some homework and I wanted to go to the clubhouse in my apartment complex because I feel like you if you're really trying to be productive you shouldn't be at home I can and have been productive at home but today I was just like no I need to go because I've been at home all day it's already five right now and I literally have been at home all day just relaxing you know Sundays I like to keep it real chill um so yeah i wanted to go to the clubhouse and it's crazy because right before i went i was like yeah nobody's ever there like it should be fine why i go and there's a lady in there setting up for our halloween party now i don't know technically i feel like ours can't be rented but i wasn't gonna be the bitch to be like oh well i have to be in here to film a video and um like oh i have to be in here to study like no so i was just like um whatever let me try to come to starbucks or panera i felt like panera was my more of my vibe than starbucks but there is a starbucks in the same plaza so if panera doesn't get me right how i wanted to then i'll be able to just go to starbucks as well this little panera is packed though like it's really packed over here um but oh and i also was gonna go to the library because it's a library like right by me um but it's sunday so i guess libraries are closed on sundays which makes sense so yes y'all i have to do homework and i forgot my freaking laptop at work so um, i have to finesse with my boyfriend's laptop and i just pray that this all works out i pray that i'm able to log in without having to do like the two-step verification and all this other extra shit because that's going to blow me and i'm not trying to get blue right now so yeah like i said it's packed somebody leaving right here somebody's coming in over here so hopefully i can get in there and get a good spot and it's nice and quiet and everything but yeah so last time i saw you guys i was at the farmer's market super good vibe um i got some i got a lot of stuff we got sage palo santo um coriander my boyfriend got a crystal labradorite i believe um i got a juice we got food the food wasn't really that good and it was like you know when there's so many options i don't know why we just end up picking that because i kind of peeped from the pictures i was like this place might not be the best out of all the other places around probably should have got something else but i think we were just like tired of walking we got margaritas um it was a really really good vibe so if you live close to like hollywood beach um like near miami or whatever definitely check out yellow green farmer's market it was great i loved seeing so many black people like i was in there like i don't need this but i felt like Issa Rae. i'm rooting for everybody black <sighs> okay so yeah i'm definitely gonna go back they had a lot of like um fresh herbs that i wanted to use for like a hair oil which let's talk about the elephant in the room my hair is out um afterwards we went to the beach because there was a beach like really close to um where we were and it's like one of our favorite beaches to go to and i already my wig was already the glue was up because of pilates so by even walking around the farmer's market my shit was like sliding and i'm like a fish i can't stay out the water too long so i got in the water wasn't expecting to get that deep in the water i was literally like in the water like imagine imagine and i didn't have the bolt hold active baby it was just a regular bolt hold so it slid the freak off like by the time i'm not gonna lie by the time i got in the car like i took it off my boyfriend was like oh right now i was like yeah right now um but yeah then i really just went home ate and just chilled this morning woke up meditated made some pizza that pizza was fire man start making pizzas at home and start using pesto instead of tomato sauce and i use my fresh basil which i realize y'all aren't gonna see me repot that in this video maybe in a different video um but yeah y'all let me go in here and get to study and i have book club in like two hours so i really need to get my shit together but yeah i'm probably not gonna end the vlog here huh I might end the vlog here. I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm gonna make some soup tonight, like some homemade chicken soup or something, like chicken and orzo. Um, I saw one of my other TikTok, TikTok. I saw this girl I watch on YouTube making. I think I want to make that. 
but I'm not gonna lie, I think I am gonna end the vlog here. It might be some B-roll and some cameos, some, 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 but I think this is the last time I'm gonna talk to y'all. So I love y'all so much, Blossoms. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. I feel like this is kind of gonna be a little bit long, so if you made it to the end, I really appreciate you and I love you. I hope that your weekend was just as peaceful and relaxing as mine was. And make sure that you are subscribed. Leave me a little comment. If I mention anything that you want to know more about, anything like that, definitely let me know. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I like that week. Hold on.